outbreak at Seneca's processing plant in Glencoe likely started with a few temporary workers who were brought in to help with the annual corn harvest. They were tested within days of when they came in. Lynn Bata with MDH says Seneca followed proper procedures and was being proactive. But due to a shortage of testing supplies, the turnaround time for results took longer than it should have. Without those immediate tests, neither the company nor McLeod Public Health could really um, begin to get people into isolation and quarantine fast enough. Bata says that's why we're seeing such a sudden jump in cases. She says usually workplace outbreaks lead to a handful of cases, but at Seneca, they've confirmed 33 cases already and 12 more that might be connected. This is my third day today coming back from quarantine after I have test positive. Luis Perez says the minute he showed symptoms, the company took it seriously. He's just getting back to work after nearly two weeks in quarantine. The way they're handling, they're handling it right. The past, they, hand, they did me right. And it's not just Seneca that has seen an uptick in cases. McLeod County Public Health says the whole surrounding region is seeing more cases right now. In McLeod County alone, they're currently dealing with 208 confirmed cases. A few of them are severe. The situation is unfolding and we are um, still gathering a lot of information. Bata says MDH and the county will host a massive testing event on August 20th to get a better picture of where we're at with community spread. Those results will be expedited to speed up turnaround time. The tests will be free, no insurance is required. Kind of reset ourselves and figure out where are we at and what more needs to be done. Gordon Severson, Carol Evan News. State health officials say Seneca's processing plant is up and running, and they are not worried about contamination of food at this point. We did reach out to Seneca for, Seneca for comment, but have not heard back. Statewide, 12 more people.